How's it going, guys? Uh, long time no see with this whole uh, COVID-19 situation. Things got shaken up a bit and uh, uh, really I didn't see things develop uh, so rapidly and uh, just wanted to kind of go over and ease myself back into this channel for you guys. Um, I've been working very hard recently on uh, uh, many, many, many things at once. Uh, including um, figuring out how to deal with this whole uh, self-isolation, uh, business closures, etc, etc. I basically took all of my soldering equipment, all of my NAND flash equipment uh, for uh, uh, NAND reconstruction uh, home because I didn't need to bring donors. Well, I did bring all the flash drive donors, <laughs> but they're compact, they're small, they're not going to require five different shelves, heavy duty shelves to stack like hard drives would. Uh, bringing a lab for hard drives here would just not be possible. I don't have space for it in the house. Uh, but for NAND recovery, um, it, you need a computer, you need a soldering station. And uh, with the way that I've been working with flash drives and memory cards in recent uh, few months, uh, I did decide to bring all of my spares here. And I have probably close to, you know, five boxes full of different flash drives and memory cards and things like that that I can use for uh, R&D and for repair and for swaps and that kind of stuff to get data off of the devices. One thing that was very important is to set up fume extraction and uh, this room is very small comparing to my office. My office is about um, 900 square feet maybe. Uh, this room is probably 200 square feet at most and uh, soldering in an enclosed space uh, would be not very good for your health. Uh, so I didn't need to figure out how to set up fume extraction. That was the number one priority. And I first brought my um, Hakko fume extractor. I thought I'm going to route it out somehow and make it work. But that Hakko fume extractor, it filters the, the, the fumes, but it doesn't necessarily isolate them all together. Uh, they're still going to be present in the room and I didn't want that. So I've had it set up for a day or two and then I just figured it's, it, it's best to find another solution. And I'm going to go over it uh, in a little bit. The solution works incredibly well and I wish I could set something up like this at the shop. And I'm going to definitely test it when uh, this whole thing with the virus passes. Now, uh, this whole thing with the virus is not affecting only our business. Obviously, it affects everybody. and. Uh, I found that uh, there's just recently there's been an amazing uh, webinar from Rusalut that uh, you know we, I, I participated in. It was really good to uh, hear about uh, you know a couple of things that just uh, you know slipped your mind in the past and having ability to connect on you know at least virtual level like this. It's it's amazing that people actually get together and explain this kind of stuff um, to kind of keep things moving for the industry. Um, there is another um, very interesting uh, webinar that's going to be coming up and that's a conference that uh, Ace Lab holds uh, every year and I definitely look forward to that. That's going to be happening at the end of April. I will put links in the description below. I don't know if anybody can sign up or if it has to be somebody uh, that has the tool. Um, I got the email and I signed up right away. I want to see what uh, their new tools can do and very interested about uh, NVMe technology and how that new portable uh, equipment can handle it. Um, so if you're interested in checking that stuff out, because PC3000 is probably like the major tool I use for uh, hard drive work at least every day. Uh, and uh, that is uh, something that uh, I would highly recommend checking out. So in the, in the next few weeks, I want to just kind of concentrate around uh, flash because I'm not at the shop working hard drives. I do have some uh, footage that had been filmed before this uh, quarantine started. Uh, and I'll see if I have enough footage to make uh, clips out of it. I, I hate posting videos that the case isn't finalized yet. I do have an amazing footage for a hard drive that uh, I've posted pictures of all around my uh, Instagram uh, where uh, the drive has been sent to like five different shops and uh, got returned back to the client saying nothing can be done and we've got it to work at least half of it already is captured. But we're still struggling with getting another half and I don't know if it's a, if it's a 
compatibility issues, because what seemed to be impossible to retrieve, we already got, but what seemed to be very promising to get, we still can't capture. And uh, until that case is done, I don't want to post that footage, even though it is a, it, it's, it's amazing that it even worked. If it does make the clip, it will be probably one of my favorite episodes. It's not like just uh, hard drives are just gonna completely disappear off this channel. They won't. Uh, they will still keep coming just um, because I have less ability to control what I'm showing, what I'm filming. Uh, it's gonna be a bit more challenging for me. Uh, I really do want to apologize for a long break that I took on this channel. Uh, but as you guys can understand, uh, this wasn't uh, <laughs> kind of planned situation and a lot of things had to take um, higher priority level than uh, editing and even though the filming was still going right now uh, it's even more work to go through the footage find out what do you want to keep what do you want to dump and um, I got myself uh, a lot of work ahead of me so thank you for sticking around and uh, let me show you a couple of things that I've set up here at the shop this is where I do all of the uh, flash work so I got my readers um, the software is all on the same machine. This is for the chips that, uh, for the flash drives and memory cards that cannot be brought back to life. This runs most of the time performing error correction. This has been reading for two, three days now. I got, um, I got very close to a full clean image. Uh, physical image of the chip. There's still 17,000 <laughs> not correctable blocks. A lot of them uh, are from the beginning, so I, I don't think that's gonna be that's gonna matter all that much because. But that's probably has something to do with the service area, so it may have to actually look like this. Uh, this is where the data would be kept, and occasionally uh, there are these red dots that swivel through. The goal is is to get rid of the red dots, turn them green. That's what I do for uh, NAND reconstruction for now. Uh, this is the uh, stuff that I brought from work. Pretty much all my basic go-to stuff that you see me use. And all the videos I brought my uh, microscope, uh, the camera, um, iron sets, the monitor to display what going on, what's going on. I even brought the uh, pedal. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a pedal right there that uh, once you it turns on one master tool and then with the master tool everything else comes to life. I turned this off physically. The monitor starts. This is the piece that I picked up for fume extraction. So let me, set, let me show you how this thing works. This has to be opened up a bit more. So location wise, I haven't picked the best location for it, but I also had to move a bunch of stuff around to see how it's gonna work. Um, this, I ordered a couple of uh, four to three inch reducers so I can use uh, different plumbing uh, and make it a little easier to snap in and snap out. For now, I have to stick to uh, what I have. Uh, with Amazon prioritizing things for deliveries, uh, the uh, reducers um, are only going to come at the beginning of May. I brought this thing back uh, from the shop. I modified it a little. First I got to set up the exhaust. An exhaust is just uh, a flex pipe I had from uh, the washer and dryer set I had in the basement. That goes out in the window and that just slides over the exhaust right there. Now, so that the exhaust pipe doesn't wiggle with the wind blowing by, I'm just gonna close the window on it a little bit so that it's affixed. And I take this piece for the intake. Guide it in and pivot it. I got an eight millimeter socket here. Tie it up a little bit so that it's not as loose. And there you have it. Inside there, I just put a piece of uh, cheesecloth, stretched it around, and uh, this tape is holding it quite well. Then it goes up here and out of the window. And down here, 
we have our controller and this is um, how it works That's it for the day. I'm glad you guys are back here. Um, I just wanted to pop in, say hello, uh, let you know that I'm fine, I'm not sick. Now that everything is set up for work, now that uh, you know the workflow had been routine and uh, now it seems to be the new normal, uh, things are just gonna pick up. And uh, I'm happy to be back here. I'm, I hope you guys uh, like the presentation. I don't know how much of it I really showed this time, but basically just wanted to show you the uh, uh, surroundings for now, where I work and how I do things, and uh, give you an idea of what's going on. So um, I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, I hope that your families are safe, and uh, I will see you guys gladly in the next episode. Stay tuned.